Today is Friday. It's June 5th. So go ahead and make sure you have your June 1 through 5 packets. Turn to Friday, write today's date. Make sure you use a capital letter for the J, a 5 followed by the comma. And if you want to practice writing numerically with just numbers, that's how you would do it. Okay, we're going to start off today with our spelling test. I'm going to go through and I'm going to read your spelling words to you. If I go too fast, simply pause in between each word that I read aloud. Number one, story. Number two, history. Number three, jumper. Number four, higher. Number five, stars. Number six, starry. Number seven, other. Number eight, mother. Number nine, every. And number 10, paper. Okay, and then make sure you grade your own work. Use a spelling um, list from earlier in the week, or you can have somebody at home grade that for you as well. Okay, yay, this week's copy came out really strong today. So um, I won't have to rewrite everything. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so this is your practice assessment for grammar. So I'm going to go through how you would do this and just understand that all the next page um, is going to have the same exact format, okay? So this is on adverbs, and it says in part A, check yes if the word is an adverb and check no if the word is not an adverb. So um, let's look at the word maybe hot, okay? And hot would not describe a verb, so the answer here would be no, all right? Um, so you'll do the same for one, three, four, and five, okay? In six through seven, it says circle the adverb in the group of words below. So six, um, happily, boy, bag, or pink, and the adverb is happily. All right, I'll read out the words for you in seven and eight, just to help you. So seven says high, apple, sadly, black, which one's an adverb. Number eight says dark, loud, cat, loudly, which one's an adverb. Um, and 9 and 10, you have to write a sentence using an adverb, and you may not use any of the adverbs used above. Circle the adverb in the sentence that you wrote. So you're just writing your own ad sentence with an adverb. So I might say, um, and you can't use my example either, but I'll just give you an example. I skipped um, quickly to the store. Okay, circling the adverb, which would be quickly, how, and it tells how. How did I skip? I skipped quickly. Okay, all right, good. So you're following the same exact format on your next page. In one through five, you're circle or you're checking yes if it's an adverb, no if it's not an adverb. So your words are one large, two quickly, three carefully, four high, five slowly. Circle the adverb in the group of words below. Now, these copies did not come out great, so I will rewrite these. Number six should say beautifully. Number seven should say girl. Number eight should say brown. Number nine should say sick. Number seven should say ugly, vegetable, highly, Oh, and beautiful. Number eight should say, hmm, I don't even know what that one is. Okay, the next one, this, oh, sky. That's sky, silently, quiet, or pink. And you remember you're circling your adverb with these. And then your next two questions, you're just writing a sentence using an adverb again, and then you circle the adverb. Okay, so today uh, for math, you have a quiz, so I'm not going to give you examples here, but I will read out to you what you should be doing, okay? So your directions say count the hundreds, tens, and ones, and then write the total. So remembering what a box is, what your sticks are, what your circles are, fill that in and give the total. 
Um, it says write hundreds, tens, and ones, and then write the na the name number. So you have 749. That's what you would be writing here, the actual number, the name of the number, okay? And then what did you have in your hundreds? What did you have in your tens? What do you have in your ones? Okay, which, um, what symbol would you fill in to make this equation true? Less than, greater than, or equal to? Count by tens, write your number. And then number five says, Victor bought some stickers. He bought three pages that have 100 stickers on each page. He also bought 27 extra stickers. How many did he buy in all? And make sure you show your work. Okay, and then you should be redoing your final draft today on this paper. All right, make sure after you are done all of your packet work that you are spending time on your sites. And they really should be in this order, Rad Kids, IXL, Freckle, and then Prodigy. You guys, be kind to your brothers and sisters. Make sure you get outside today and this weekend and try to find something every day, at least one thing to do to help around the house. We miss you so much. Bye.